My name is Adol, I'm 23 years old, and I live in Vancouver, BC. I always viewed my mom, um, when I was living with her, as a very strong, caring, amazing, heartfelt person. Because of how she raised me and because of who she was, she passed those things on to me. That's kind of how I've dealt with my life through these struggles and how I've tried to help other people because of my mom. Later on, she ended up passing away and it was just what led me to becoming basically kind of homeless and in care and stuff. So there's a few different reasons why a youth might become homeless. Um, a lot of it would be because of poverty and coming from unsafe homes. So choosing to sleep outside actually feels safer to them than the living situation that they're coming from. There was a person who I used to be friends with and they kind of told me about street life. And eventually I decided, you know what, Let, let's try and let's see what this is about. Street Life is a program of Youth Unlimited. We are a safe space of belonging for marginalized young people in East Vancouver. We offer relationships, referrals, and resources. Big emphasis on relationships, that's the heart of what we're doing. Even if you don't make friends with the other youth that show up there, even the staff, you know, they are very nice and supportive and it was a great feeling to see that they actually were listening and you can tell by their faces there's they're not judging or anything even when you have talked anything bad about your life or about your friends they're always th um, there to be very caring supportive and understanding street life makes a difference in the community by consistently showing up and consistently caring about the people who interact with us. We are a positive adult in their life. Many youth don't have a positive adult, and so often we are fulfilling that role and caring about them and believing in them when they can't believe in themselves. I think from my own story and my own struggling through adolescence, I wish I had had someone walking that with me in the moments where I felt alone. And so that sparked me wanting to be that person for someone else. And growing up, seeing all my friends um, struggle and be vulnerable even when I didn't understand what was going on. I wanted more for them. I wanted justice for them, hope. It's never just one specific struggle that all these youth are dealing with. There's a variety of different things. And I've talked to and gotten to know a lot of these amazing young people. We need to feel wanted and accepted because throughout our whole life or at one point or another, we've gone through some sort of really horrible trauma where we felt that we weren't wanted or loved or heard. And even if it was just one small part of our life, that still affects us really hard. Adol has been a really good influence on the other youth that come in the doors at Street Life. A, because he's faced a similar background to them, and B, because he's willing to share their stories without it hurting him. A lot of people in this community don't feel safe having that voice, and so Adol gets to be that for them. And so he's participating in this community and building these deep relationships, and then he's fighting for his peers. The youth we work with are almost always struggling with something. There's barriers working against them. Life is really hard, but there are moments where we are laughing so hard we're crying, or we go to a coffee shop and they have the best chai latte in the world and they smile or they say, thank you for this dinner. And I'm reminded that this is all worth it. They don't get to smile every day. They don't have always access to food. The small wins are what keep me going, even when the rest is hard. And to all you amazing, wonderful people who have decided to 
kind of put yourself in maybe an uncomfortable kind of environment for that night and to sleep outside to, in a way to kind of support all these either current homeless young people or past. Just honestly, there's not really much to say other than thank you. By all of you sleeping outside for this one night, it shows that you're more than willing to try and understand a little bit of what we're going through, which means a whole lot. If all these young people could come out, come out, we'd probably cover the whole area, but though, if not more, but we would all say a great big thing. Thank you.